so you're Mario. Yes, sir. Mario, what's your last name? Mario Gafenko. Gafenko and Mario, you've been driving big semis like this for how long? I've been driving for 23 years, closing in on 3 million safe miles. Oh, safe miles, <clears throat> meaning you haven't had an accident in 3 right. million? Unbelievable. And now we've got these, these cameras <clears throat> in this cab, and uh, why don't you just start driving along and tell me all about these things? All right, so before we get going really quick, so this is a camera monitoring system. We've got high-definition cameras on the outside with high-definition cameras on the inside to be able to provide the driver a better view than the traditional glass mirrors. <clears throat> so we'll provide the same view as the, the regular mirror. We got the regular view up top, the wide-angle view at the bottom, and then uh, what makes the system even better is because the center monitor up here eliminates uh, all the blind spots on the right side of the vehicle. And then as you can see on the monitor, we do have uh, Reference distance lines, the uh, red, yellow, and uh, green. Red indicates where the end of the trailer is. Yellow is approximately 40 feet behind the trailer, and green is approximately 80 feet behind the trailer. So you get a really good reference as to where you are with cars on each side of the, the truck just by glancing at the lines. Correct, so driving down the interstate with a quick uh, glance, you can see exactly how far or close the vehicles are and it really puts uh, the traffic uh, situational uh, in perspective, telling you how fast the traffic is moving and where the vehicles are, and uh, if it's safe, if it's safe for you to change lanes and maneuver around vehicles. Now, as you're turning left here, I'm seeing some, some yellow lines show up on that upper screen next to you. Correct, so uh, that's actually uh, orange right now. Um, that is our trailer safe path, and that predicts kind of where the trailer is going to end up according to uh, what the tra truck and trailer uh, is uh, pivoting to let drivers know roughly where the trailer tires are going to end up and what potentially they could be driving over, striking, hitting, and um, causing an accident. And you were telling me earlier that uh, if you drive over something, you blow out a tire, that's a hassle. Yes, so uh, any tires, if you blow, even if it's uh, one tire, even on the trailer, you're technically out of service. Officer can actually pull you over, give you a ticket. The most important one is the steer tires, and that's the ones that are going to be the most expensive. That literally puts you out of commission right away because you only got one tire per position. And uh, yes, they can get very costly. So. With this view up here, we can see exactly where that tire is, and we can see right in front of the truck, the tires, the steps into the cab, and once we get going, you'll be able to see two lanes of traffic next to the vehicle. Now, you said it's expensive to replace a tire. How much? So, uh, a road call is right about, uh, probably about $1,500. Yikes. And depending on where you're actually going to be ending up, you could potentially get a tow bill and also an impeding traffic ticket because uh, nobody likes big trucks. So just having those those orange lines on that camera screen can prevent all of that. Correct. We provide visibility to the driver, so now the driver can make the safe decisions in real time, and he can make uh, the the proper decisions to make sure he avoids any incidents, any accidents. Hmm. And the other thing I, I, I notice is you don't have to lean forward in your seat there to try to see through the mirror more easily. Correct. So with the uh, camera system, we provide more visibility to the driver as it is. But the system is also, uh, we have a couple of features built in the system. Uh, one is auto panning. So the view that we get from the camera is the wide angle view, the top view. Uh, we can only display partial, but there's more image available. So um, when you make a turn, when you navigate a left turn or a right turn, the corresponding side, that top image is going to automatically pan to take advantage of the full field of view, eliminating the need for me to move in my seat or be, uh, to be able to get a different angle on the mirror to see where my trailer tires would end up. You know, the other thing I notice here too, Mario, is without those mirrors there, it, it just seems to open up the vista. Correct. So some of the studies we've done, uh, those uh, physical glass mirrors actually block about 60 to 80 feet of traffic, especially when you're coming up to a four-way stop or intersection. 
And um, within that space, you can hide anywhere between three to four cars. So yes, eliminating, legally being able to remove the physical glass mirrors that come from the OEM. We improve aerodynamics and we also expand the field of view uh, that driver doesn't have to do all the driver aerobics to be able to see his surroundings and to be uh, doesn't have to do any peekaboo around that blind spot. And you know, today's a, a rainy day. There's a lot of rain on the, the wind sh windshield here, but the camera views are crystal clear, not a drop of rain or anything on them. Yeah, so our camera uh, technology, our cameras are uh, coated with the hydrophobic coating to repel water and dirt and moisture. The camera uh, lenses are also heated to be able to dissipate water, melt any ice and snow for the Michigan weather here in about a month or so. <laughs> right. So you've been driving trucks a long time. What do you like about this? Uh, the whole idea of being able to clearly see my surroundings, but also eliminating and reducing all the stress, fatigue, and anxiety. Uh, I still drive about probably about 60,000 miles a year with this truck, taking it to all kinds of customers and all kinds of uh, trade shows. So I still put about a half, half the work of what a normal driver usually does. Um, so I still get the experience, I still drive, you know, 10, 11 hours. Um, so I do get uh, to be able to take advantage of reduce stress, fatigue, anxiety, increase visibility, and knowing where everything else is right around my vehicle at all times. You know, I keep hearing trucking companies saying, boy, is it hard to get people and keep people? This might be one way to keep them, huh? Uh, yeah. So the the camera monitor system, uh, some of our safety partners are using them to recruit drivers, but also to retain drivers. Uh, we know of some cases where drivers are getting up in age and vision is kind of failing. So because of the system improved visibility, now those drivers are expanding, they're extending their trucking career to be able to, you know, because it improves visibility and they're able to work longer now, they don't have to retire right away. Um, and uh, there is actually one driver that's actually blind in one eye, and he actually, with our system, was able to get an FMCSA exemption to still keep driving a semi-truck hmm. because of the increased visibility and being able to uh, help him keep his career. And there's another story to this, this whole thing, too, what you guys are calling the smart trailer. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. It's a connected trailer. That's what uh, we're trying to do. We're trying to connect all the technologies on the trailer and being able to provide that visibility to the driver in the cab in real time. Um, a lot of the trailer companies right now, if they, a lot of trucking companies right now, if they have any trailer technology, usually goes to the back office, to the maintenance garage or the dispatchers, and then they notify the drivers uh, as needed but being able to provide the driver with an image or an alert to be able to see right away when a tire is deflating uh, or when one of the brakes is hanging and now it's overheating, instead of ending up in a fire, now the driver can address it much quicker, much safer, much faster. One, it increases productivity. Now the downtime is gonna be less. Instead of waiting for the fire truck, he can actually get a service truck out there uh, and also the cost of the repair is less and uh, you know and then from there it kind of snowballs I mean the charges can get astronomical you know when you talk about the trailer catching on fire freight and everything else that comes with it hmm. and w one simple thing but there's even a, a backup camera with this connected trailer and a backup light that I've never seen on a trailer before correct so our customers have uh, have asked us to build to put a camera on the back of the trailer. We have been able to eliminate the blind spots around the vehicle with the mirror eye system, camera monitoring system. But the next uh, blind spot would be right behind the trailer, so we have done that. The requirement from all of our customers was we do not want to add a cable because a lot of drivers that have been trained to hook up two hoses and one electric cable are not going to remember to hook or unhook a cable and also uh, do not modify the cable because if you modify a cable, then now it's gonna be much harder for maintenance, it's gonna be much harder for uh, everything, you know, to be able to get that serviced. 
So uh, what we have done is we have uh, proprietary technology that we have are able to bring the data from the trailer into the truck over the existing power wires. We have not modified our cable. We have not added a cable. Uh, so not only do we get a rear view camera, but we also can provide extra data, like I mentioned, tire pressure monitoring systems. Uh, if, the, if it's a refrigerated trailer or temperature controlled trailer, now you can provide that data to the driver so the driver knows if he's going to have any issues or he's got visibility of what the trailer is doing. You know, I think you said something important there that you don't have to add a cable, meaning that this, this tech can bolt on to any old trailer. Correct. It can, it can be retrofitted to any trailer. Um, it is a, it is a uh, technology that can be added and it can be retrofitted to, uh, to the vehicles, yes. Yeah. Mario, thanks so much. Very interesting, uh, all this technology coming into these big trucks these days. Thank you.